Hello everyone, Chief GG here with a newly updated Lighthouse Rogue Farming Guide. Lighthouse has been my main source of rubles this wipe, so I'm happy to share with you what all I have learned. Without wasting any more of your time, here is my guide to farming rogues on Lighthouse. I want to start by covering this Lighthouse map that highlights the main ruble making routes. You can see that the route you will take is dependent on what spawn you get. Each route can be extremely profitable. There are three main routes, the chalet, the lighthouse, and the rogue camp. I'll be covering the rogue camp in this video since it'll take the most time, but click on either one of these videos here or the links down below to jump to one of the other two routes. The rogue camp can provide very good gear, rare items, and barter items. There are a total of 16 spawns for the rogues, and the new bosses can also spawn here, bringing the total to 19. It's extremely rare to get all the spawns though. The only consistent rogue spawns are the two on the south side turrets and the two on the north building, although there can be three on the north building. The east and west buildings can both have two on top of them, and then a set of three can spawn on the ground in the east, north, or west buildings, as well as in the middle near the helicopter pad. There are two main ways to go about attacking the rogues, the right and left side. I think the right side is easier this wipe, especially with the rogues being more aggressive towards USEC accounts that have killed rogues within the past few rounds. Both sides are equally as profitable though, from my experience. The right side can be done with a close range weapon, whereas the left side is much better with a long range weapon. I'll be covering both of these routes, so no need to worry. Here we are on the southeast side of the USEC rogue camp. There can be someone up above you on top of these rocks here, it's a common spot because there's two different spawns back there. They will typically look for each other right off the start and then push down to the top rocks and start to snipe the rogues from there. You'll usually see their body silhouette from the top rocks, so just kind of keep your eyes peeled. Once you make it to this wall, hug it to avoid the rogue from the north building shooting you. He will try to aimbot you through the wall here, but he won't be able to pin through the concrete. Just make sure you have enough stamina to make it through the door right there. You don't want to get unlucky and catch a bullet. All it takes is one. Once you get to this door, look for the rogues. They can spawn on the ground level here. They'll pretty much be right outside the entrance or to the left side along the building. Then the next spot you'll look for is the door. Make sure it's closed. If it's open, someone's been through here or the rogues have gone up top and they'll be on this top platform on the right side here or the left side. It's a great way to tell if they've been on top. Then you'll want to look along the back platform if they're there, they'll start running along the platform your way. Then check this box for a rare item spawn and work your way into this right room. Look for the other rare item spawns on the projector stand, the ground, and then the table to the left here. There's also a jacket to hit. And then we'll move on to the next room for another jacket, plus a couple moonshine spawns on the tables, the duffel bag, and then more moonshine spawns on these tables here. Back to the hallway to look for ammo and food, plus more barter items on the shelves back here. Then we're going to go across the hallway and look in this room for the rare item spawn in the box on the left side. We're gonna hit the duffel bag, then the jacket, then look on the beds for some rare items as well as ammo and beds. There's a weapon box to hit if you'd like, but I typically don't. I'll move out after that room and look for the rare item spawn in this box on the top right platform. It'll be right there. And then aim down sight, see if there's any items you want. If there is, make sure you kill the rogue on the north turret first. He will try to aim bot you through the window and sometimes he gets lucky and you'll catch that one bullet. There's a toolbox plus barter items on the ground next to it and here. And once you get to this spot, look for the rogues on the north side of the building. They usually will voice calm and make their presence known. And if they do, make sure you drop back and go along the north side of the building. You can wrap around, play this corner, and then shoot the rogues. It's a lot easier, in my opinion, to see them. And we'll push up, scan the parking lot a little bit. You want to work your way up to this yellow line here. Make sure you don't go over it. Otherwise, the rogue will start to aim by you through the door. You can slow lean to get your precision shot to take the rogue off that turret right there. Once you take care of him, then you'll look out in the parking lot and scan for the new bosses. They can spawn in between the two buildings. If the bosses spot you out, just back up into the building and close the door. They'll run up to the door and open it and you kill them when they do. 
the rogues can spawn outside behind the boxes and the tires there and then you'll push across and play off the truck here in front of you looking for the next set of rogues in the base level of the building or in this container if you don't see them then you're good to push up and look for the barter items on top of that working your way to the outside of the building to scan for the rogues on the top platforms if you don't see them there then you are good to work your way in and look for the barter items on top of these little rectangle boxes and into the side room to look for the barter items on the shelves in this back room and then in this side room for the rare item spawns in front of the computers the weapon spawns on top of the boxes in this box and then you can search that box as well back out into the hallway to look for more barter items on the shelves and then you can search that computer there's also a really good peak angle here through the window you just have to get the right angle but you can scan pretty much all of these rocks that have angles on this building you can take that door there to go out or you can go across the hallway here for some more barter items on the shelves and then you can go in this left room where there are two tech crates to hit tech crates have been really good this wipe so i personally think it's probably worth hitting this room if you have the extra time otherwise you'll want to continue along outside here and along the platform on this left side on the box you can get a tank battery so look there as well as barter items on top of the box and in it and then food and ammo spawns on the ground there and there plus more barter item spawns in the back along the shelves you can go in this side room there are two weapon boxes plus filing cabinet and then along the back side here you get a lot more barter items plus a few tech spawns as well along the shelving and inside this box in front of me here if you're not here early this area is typically picked clean by player scavs but if you're here you might as well check these spawns because they can produce some pretty good loot after that you're going to work your way to this door scanning out in the parking lot looking for some enemies and then aiming down sight and taking this rogue off the turret there after that you're going to look for the one on the front turret it'll typically be working his way back either stopping right there or continuing along the back side of the building going all the way towards the middle if you still need some more loot we can then go up on the roof the north building will have rogues that will always spawn on top of it so it's definitely the one to go loot in my opinion just because you can get that extra rogue loot plus the storage rigs that'll come along with it make sure you have enough stamina to make this run all the way up the staircase into this hard cover while scanning for the rogues right there and if they are there just bunker down behind the vent to my left and try to right hand peek them if they're not there then the last set you'll have to worry about is off to the left here you can go in the tent look for the rare item spawn in the box an item can spawn underneath it like a bitcoin veritas pick or a gp coin so make sure you actually highlight over it there's a another rare item spawn on top of the table there as well as on top of the box and on the ground weapon spawn and then weapon attachment after you get that loot then you can work your way to kill the rogues you can push up and scan to get the one off the turret on the left side there you'll see his head right above the vent or behind the tarps there they'll bleed through it as well as right there you'll hear them voice coming so that you'll you'll pretty much know where they're at if they're on the right side turret make sure you go over here and you can uh, get a pick on them pretty easily you can either kill this rogue by peeking around this left side here or wrapping all the way around the vent you get a right hand peek just be careful of scab shooting you in the back uh, once they're taken care of you can start looking for the extra loot there's a bunch of ammo spawns and some weapon attachments all along the boxes up here i found a ridiculous amount of good ammo up here so it's definitely worth taking a look for if you're going to be up here anyways and then you can work your way to this other side of the roof to loot the rogue as well as some barter items that can be on the ground but be careful of snipers in the mountains as it's a pretty common spot for people to try to play off of there's a toolbox there that you can hit and then the rogue will usually be dead on the turret after that you can work your way back to the staircase make sure you have enough stamina to go down and make it all the way to the hardcover usually at this point you will be chock full of good loot so we'll start working our way towards the extract typically so it's usually at this point that i would double tap o to check my extracts and make sure i actually have northern otherwise you're going to want to go to the car extract which i actually should have checked 
back up on the roof. But since I didn't, and we do have Northern, thankfully it doesn't matter. If you didn't clear the rogues off the roof, make sure you play off this hard cover, continuously scanning behind you to make sure you're not gonna get shot in the back as you make these runs. And you play from hard cover to hard cover. And once you get back to these connexes, if the rogue from this other roof starts to shoot at you ever, just hit the dirt immediately and crawl along the connex, getting in between them. Um, otherwise, you'll, you'll be in trouble. The rogue can be taken off the turret from there, as well as this back right peak. Once they are taken care of, then you are good to work your way to the train station. You see this tree right here, just stick to the right of it, and you are good to sprint straight through. But we are going to cover the train yard loot later. If you'd like to skip to that part, just hit the timestamps down below. We're going to jump on over to the left side route for the road camp, which I am not the biggest fan of because it's so highly contested. But if you do get the beachside spawn or if you're going over here for the quest line, it could be worth knowing. You'll take the first rogue off the turret from this staircase here. Make sure you have a long range scope and a high caliber round because the goal of this route is to take them out from far. The next rogue you can kill from this truck. You'll go to it and do a side lean and get them through the glass. If you are a bear account or are aggroed by the rogues because you killed them in a previous round, they will start to shoot at you when you get to that van. That's why I like to shoot them from the big truck further back. It's just a whole lot safer. You're going to want to move as quickly as possible to the USEC camp to avoid getting shot in the back by the other spawns. But if you're able to do so, it can be a very, very profitable route. You can also go down the left side here and go across the wooden bridge and go up on the rocks to kill the rogues if you are a USEC account that hasn't killed them in the past few rounds. Once you get to these two pipes, get to the middle of them, and that's when you can kill the rogue off the roof. You should do a slow lean just to make sure you get a precision peek. But once you take him off the turret, then you are good to move forward and push up to the wall. Be careful of someone being on your right. That's going to be your main threat. But as you're pushing forward, you kind of want to keep your eyes on top of the turret on the roof again, just to make sure that the secondary rogue from the back doesn't backfill him. If you do see the secondary rogue start to push up, this is where you can take him out. Just do a slow lean through this little crack in the window and then you're good to move forward to the next peak spot. You're gonna to go to the base of this staircase here and look for the set of rogues that can spawn on the ground. And you're also gonna take another quick peek up top on that turret before you go for the rare item loot on top of the connex. But once you clear this out, you don't see any, go and check this box. There's a rare item spawn and then you can go up top. You're in a prone immediately. Don't worry about trying to find the perfect prone spot to loot the rogue. Just hit prone and free look. You'll be able to loot them easily. Next, I'm going to move towards the middle here and look for the rogues that can spawn on the ground near the helicopter. If you don't see them around there, then you're good to push forward and go to the next loot spot. I usually don't bother looting the rogue to my right. I'll just go and hit that tech crate plus the rare item spawns on the couch and the shelving next to it. And then I'll move over to the next tent and hit the rare item spawns there as well. There's some barter items and then weapon attachments, toolboxes that you can hit down here too. I try to move through this area rather quickly just because of the amount of player scabs or other PMCs that will be trying to backfill you and go for the same loot. There's also a rare item spawn in this box here that I forgot to show. You see it's a skull. But Bitcoins, Vertexes, VPXs and stuff of that sort can spawn there. So it's definitely worth checking. Now we're going to work our way up to Warehouse 1. But before that, if you needed to go plant your marker at the helicopter, now would be your chance. It's over in that direction there. I wouldn't recommend pushing up on this hill and looking over there first. Just work your way from the tent we were just in towards the helicopter. Next, we're going to push up and look for the rare item spawn in the box. But as we're doing it, we're going to side scan for the rogues. If they are there, just keep a steady run and make it to behind this hard cover and then right hand peek and kill the rogues. They're usually hanging out behind the car there. In the box that I was just by, there's a rare item spawn as well as on top of this box and inside the box there. Now you're good to go inside the building. We're gonna cut immediately left and keep running to get behind this hard cover here because rogues can spawn at the far end. And if they do, they will usually spot you out from the top platform or the bottom platforms and they'll yell something at you and then start running your way. So I personally think it's best to play off of this hard cover and it allows you to kind of kill them as they're walking down the platforms. Next, we're going to look for the rare item spawns on the boxes here and along the ground as well. You can get some tech spawns and more barter items. 
And then to the right, there is barter items on top of that. More there and the toolbox. Then we're going to go up on top of the platform and look for the rare item spawns on here. You can get tech spawns all along this as well, like graphics cards and whatnot. But I personally don't like running along this all that much just because of how loud it is running on metal. But if you can move through quickly, it could definitely be worth grabbing the items from up there. We're gonna work back towards the back side of the building now, checking in this side room to the left. There is some med spawns in here, and the med case as well, and then the rare item spawn in the next room. That's all I've found in this side. But if you guys know of any extra spawns, let me know in the comments down below. You can get some more barter items out here on the shelving, and then we will go back out into the main part of the building and look to take the rogues off of the north roof. From this spot, you can slow lean and take the rogue off of that corner. Make sure you kill that one first because the one on the back left corner won't react to him dying. If you kill the back left one first, that front one will react. So take the uh, front corner first and then the back corner. Then you're gonna push up, you're gonna look for the rogue on top of that roof. You can go behind this van here and kill him if he's on the turret. You'll just barely see the tip of his head right there. And so it can be kind of an annoying shot to hit, but it's pretty easy. He won't be able to kill you. And you run back to this box, look for the rare item spawn it. You can go over here and get some ammos and foods. And then we are going to work to the corner of the wall. And this is where you would decide if you want to push over to Northern. If you do, just run in that direction there and push all the way down the road to Northern. Or you can run across and work your way to the building room too. When you make this run, keep a steady pace. That way, if the rogues do spawn on the ground out here on the west side of this building, they will end up missing their shots. From there, you can head to loot the north building and then extract. The north building loot is in the timestamps below. You can also hit the train yard and pot farm loot before going to extract. Here we are back at the train yard on the southwest entrance. Whenever you go in, be careful of scavs. There are quite a few spawns directly in front of you here. Usually, as soon as I come in, I'll sprint off to the left and come and hit this duffel bag while I regain some stamina. Then I'll head over to this left side here, check for some barter items, and go into the warehouse. Usually, if you move pretty steady, you don't have to worry about the scavs that spawn out front. Whenever you get in here, go to the left, hit the barter items here, and then the toolbox, and then more barter items on this lower shelf, as well as over here. This entire warehouse is pretty much full of barter items besides the rare items on top of that table and this jacket. But for the most part, you're just going to work your way through getting these barter item spawns and the double toolbox here where you can research it after you searched it once already to get a second spawn. But then after that, you pretty much just hit the rest of these barter item spawns and work your way to Northern Extract. You can, if you want to, go over to the pot farm and get that loot, but I personally choose not to just because it is a quest spot, so it's usually hit pretty early in the round, but if you do need the extra loot, it can be worth it, especially considering you can get a few rare item spawns and several stim spawns there. We're now back on the north side of the north building. This is where I would push up if I were to go hit the pot farm because you're good to sprint straight across the street here. Even if there were a rogue still on the north building, he wouldn't be able to kill you. He would end up just shooting the truck. Whenever you do first get inside the train yard, be careful of scavs. They can spawn all over and they can be a pain in the butt if they're all firing at you at once. Don't just sprint straight out and across because again, if there is a rogue on the roof, you're gonna wanna cut line of sight. So I think it's better to wrap around the right side because even if it's not a rogue, if it's a player scab or a PMC that backfilled, I think it's just better to go all around the back. But for sake of time, we're going to go ahead and jump over and go straight in. Pot farm is in this connex right here. There are rare item spawns on the ground, as well as stem spawns on the cabinets and on top of the tables. You won't find a ridiculous amount of loot back here, but if you're a player scab or you just need some extra loot, it can definitely be worth hitting. Then we have the car extract. You will need to bring rubles in for it, and it is not always up, so you can't depend on it, but it is good to be able to take it whenever it is, because if you don't have Northern and the car extract's not up, then you're gonna be hoofing it all the way back to path to shoreline, which I would still recommend taking this path right here and then following the back mountain pass all the way. It's the safest. 
Thanks for watching the Rogue Farming Guide all the way through. If you'd like to see more of these guides in the future, feel free to drop a like and comment down below which one you'd like to see next. Until next time, guys, peace out.